What is good, Josh on the Sue Game Man? Back in with yet another reaction video. Now I noticed you guys actually were showing quite a bit amount of support on these videos, so I'm gonna keep doing them, bro. More death battles. Today we got All Might versus um Might All Might versus Might guy. That was kind of weird to say. Uh My Hero Academia versus Naruto. Now I've been catching up on My Hero Academia if you saw uh through my Twitter, which if you're not, links are below in the description. Follow that Twitter account, man. Uh I'll be able to tweet. But my Hero to me is actually slowly becoming my number two favorite anime behind art. So that anime is getting active and I'm almost completely caught up with it. I'm on season three uh, out of the five seasons that's on uh, Crunchyroll. Shout out to them. Uh, but in terms of these videos, though, I will probably have to chop out a little bit more because I look at the time of posting them. I was all fine, no copyrights. And then I got a notification uh, like the day before they were supposed to go up because I was out on vacation, but I saw it come through on my phone that they actually ended up getting a copyright claim on them for what reason i don't know uh so i might have to chop out a little bit more of these and not keeping as much uh there is a lot of extra information though you know you can go to the original video to watch that which kind of keep my reactions in there uh on and it show kind of like the major key factors on basically making our decision on who we think will win or lose uh kind of going into this i feel like it's my guy bro uh came really close to beating one of the strongest anime characters ever in modern Ishi uh, uh, but obviously, you know, to beat All Might, though, we, I've never, at least, I can't remember him showing it as far as where I am right now. I don't think I've seen his full strength, to be honest. But I really feel like if My Guy wins this, he has to go to eight gates, though. So, I mean, call it a tie, call it what you want. But I think to win is he has to go into eight gates mode. So, he might end up, you know, be, he might end up being a draw. But let's go ahead and just get straight into this thing, man. Make sure you guys leave a like and comment any of these that you want to specifically see. Or just your anime opinion down below as well. You know, I'm really into anime now. I'm getting back into it more and more. I'd love to talk with you guys. See what your opinions are. See if you think who should win and who shouldn't. I think what well, we were two and one with these. So let's see if we can go three and one. Like I said, right now I'm going Mike Guy. Let me hear what they got to say real quick. We'll come up with our final opinions before the fight starts. And see how it plays out. Let's be real. Superheroes with super strength are like rabbits. They're everywhere. But when a hero uses that strength to inspire others, they truly stand out from the crowd. Like All Might, the symbol of peace from My Hero Academia. And Might Guy, master of ninja combat and bushy brows from Naruto. <laughs> He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Yes, sir. Let's get it. All Might can punch with enough force to change the weather, even creating a massive storm once. It's raining. Holy crap. He changed the weather. He can jump so high, people mistake him for flying. You might say they're taking a flying leap in logic. But along with super strength, one for all includes powers like improved durability, stamina, and speed. All Might has no know. problem taking huge hits and fighting villainy in the blink of an eye. And thanks to his training at UA High School, All Might molded his quirk into an incredible fighting style. With moves named after the United States? I thought this dude was Japanese. Well, it's likely a nod to how the U.S. essentially created the modern superhero, like Superman. America's got a sort of superhero monopoly going on. Uh, if I had a quirk like that, I'd name my moves after food. California rolls! That boy oh my stupid. god, it worked! Going for two! Lobster roll! Why look ah! <laughs> Anyway, there's a ton of different smashes in All Might's arsenal. I actually didn't know about it. I didn't see like California smash, Carolina smash, Detroit, Missouri, Nebraska, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, Texas, and the United States. I have not seen all of those. Uh, I'm hoping there's also some seasons of that show that I haven't seen yet too. So I guess I'm about to learn a lot in season three, four, or five. Uh, I don't, I honestly, I personally don't mind. Like, as long as it's not a huge spoiler, they, not, they ain't show like all my die or anything. So I, that's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't get no huge spoilers. Uh, please refrain from using spoilers down below if, if all my does die. Don't tell me. Covering all sorts of states and cities, from Nebraska to Detroit to the Carolinas. And most of their names actually do describe their results to a certain extent. For example, his Texas and Oklahoma smashes both create variations of tornadoes. And those oh, two okay. states are smack dab in the crossfire of real-life Tornado Alley. Coincidence? Probably not. Of course, many of his attacks create targeted gusts of wind, but every smash does have its own unique form of delivery, such as how the Missouri smash is a karate chop, and the New Hampshire smash is a reverse attack meant to send All Might rocketing through the air. But he's oh, got one mega-sized oh, move that goes beyond all that. Or as he calls it, Plus Ultra, the United States of Smash! Is it proud to be an American? At least I know I'm free. 
America! God, I'm singing like that. But he's Japanese. America! God, United States of motherfucking smash now! To determine the power of this epic blow, yeah, let's find the volume of the resulting whirlwind by comparing its size to the nearby buildings. Applying the standard height of 3 meters per floor, the whirlwind appears to be at least 2,200 meters tall, giving it a volume of over 10 billion cubic meters. To create a tornado that large, All Might Strike must have equaled a force of over 11,000 tons of TNT. That's insane! He's got the There's power of an atomic There's bomb in his bare fist! He's also fast enough to run down this stairway in less than half a second. A feat which, given the distance measured, means he can move 29 times faster than sound. He's in the same league as the supervillain Gigantomachia, who blew up a mountain, and he punched this Nomu guy so hard he pulled a team rocket. Looks like Nomu's blasting up again! Ooh. With so Stupid. much power, All Might remained the number one hero for years. Unfortunately, success doesn't last forever. Yeah, he got into a fight that was a bit bigger than even he could handle, and got injured pretty bad. So bad, in fact, it became difficult for him to use his powers, and drastically limited his full strength. But hey, don't worry, for Death Battle, we look at each character's peak performance across their whole life. Right, when fighting Nomu, All Might claimed that what he pulled off in 300 punches, he could have previously done with just five. Back in my heyday, five hits would have been enough to knock that guy out. But today, it took more than 300 mighty blows. Taken literally, wow. this means All Might at his best was 60 times more powerful. But even as a crippled old man, he held on to the number one spot for a long time. Not because he was taking out more bad guys than the competition, but because he was just so goddamn heroic. At least until he could find a new successor with a smile on his face. A shining example of what it means to be a true hero, just like himself. <laughs> Yeah. In Konohaga Kure. Hey, before we even get the mic guy, because you already know about the cut the, the back part. But learned a lot about All Might that I didn't previously know. So this this is gonna be tough. Honestly, I think All Might strength might come through here. Like I said, if my guy's gonna win this, it's gonna have to be an eight gate, so I might be swayed. We hear some things there. That's the big thing with Guy's style. Because he's gotta make up for not having ninja magic, everything he does comes with a big risk. Especially his ultimate technique. Right, Guy's father Mike Guy was instrumental in helping him achieve the goal of becoming a, quote, splendid ninja. But he also taught him a skill which would prove to be both of their undoing. The Eight Gates. Wait, 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 wait. Someone named their kid Might Die? What, are you just hedging your bets for the future? I mean, Die is dead. Well, then yeah. I guess they called it. The eight gates refer yeah, to the yeah, pathways yeah. within the human body which contain the flow of chakra, the life energy ninja use for their techniques. And, you know, to live. To simplify, by opening each gate, Guy essentially removes inhibitors on his body, greatly increasing his power, speed, and capabilities. The first few gates are kinda safe, unlocking 100% of the body's ability. The second one even heals you a bit, but once you get past number four, things start getting real messy. At this point, Guy suffers horrible pain and severe muscle tearing. While the power increase is certainly worth the risk in a difficult fight, it's likely to put the user in the hospital afterward. After opening the sixth gate, he can move so fast his punches ignite the air around him, meaning he can shoot fireballs from his fists. That would be the. I'm, I'm making a shot like I ain't seen all in art, so. <laughs> but let's be real here, though. And a lot of times, God don't really need to go past six. Now, he did. The keys just kind of retired and he just want to get that fight out of the way quickly. But that is. Imagine that, bro. You're able to just unlock all this power. But as soon as you hit like five or six, you basically in the hospital if you got to use that. So you better be real sure that you want to open that up. Because as soon as that wear off, your whole body about to ache worse than 6 a.m. lifts. Morning peacock technique. To ignite the hydrogen in the air, guy must be swinging at speeds more than 40,000 kilometers per hour. That's over five times faster than the X-15 rocket jet, the fastest airplane in the modern world. And once he opens the seventh gate, he can perform Daytime Tiger, where he throws a giant tiger's face at you. Hell yeah, this beautiful beast is strong enough to blow up an island. Awesome. While opening the seventh gate would prove fatal for most ninja, Guy is strong enough and skilled enough to wield it without such concern. However, when it comes to the final gate, there is no going back. 
With the eighth gate of death, Guy's power explodes. His blood boils, evaporating from his body. Yeah, if you thought that was some Super Saiyan energy aura around him there, think again. It's his blood burning through his skin. Yeah. Hardcore. Eight Gross. Gates. What like hardcore? It. In this mode, Guy can perform the speedy evening elephant technique. But his most impressive ability is, without a doubt, Night Guy. Okay, Might Guy, Might Die, and Night Guy? Who's coming up with this shit? This attack was powerful enough to decimate Madara, one of yeah. the deadliest villains in the Naruto universe. Madara could take on Naruto, enemies. who had enough chakra to blow a hole through the moon. Sure, Night Guy is still not as powerful as Naruto once the kid goes all gold and glowy, but it's <laughs> definitely above Jiraiya's big ball Rasengan carving yeah. up a mountain, or Obito raising up a giant tree like a crazy reverse lumberjack. Despite all this risk, Guy proved himself an equal to some of the greatest ninja of the Hidden Leaf, including yeah. his longtime rival Kakashi, who was fast enough to catch lightning from a distance. Measuring the space Kakashi had to cover here and the speed of lightning itself, he must have moved over 700,000 meters per second, yeah, more than 2,000 times faster than sound. But in the end, even though he knew the Eighth Gate meant the ultimate sacrifice, he did it anyway like a boss to protect his friends. He did get lucky though, cause Ninja Jesus showed up to keep him alive! Good timing! No wonder he's always got a smile on his face. But handicapped from then on, Guy's days of combat were finally over. At least for the time being. Still, even if this was to be his last mission, Guy had already found a worthy successor. A shining example of what it means to be a splendid ninja, I didn't know he got just like there, himself. I'm still catching up on more. Guy Nemi! Get to it! All right, let's get to it. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, you can get a superhero for yourself to protect your computer and online data. And it's called ExpressVPN. All right, going into it. We're going with All Might. Let me know down below who you guys got. Let me know if you guys get it right or wrong. They said if he wins, it's going to be eighth gates and he's going to have to die. So. Don't worry. I am here. <laughs> so. Real quick, too, before we get into it, I watched it in. Uh, English sub. I watch it sub basically. So to hear it, him actually talking to English, it's actually kind of weird. I did not think he would sound like that. Cool! The amazing costume, those bursting muscles, that magnificent hair. You must be a worthy opponent for an arm wrestling contest. I accept your challenge. So this one's gonna be an arm wrestling contest? I can't lose. I have the power of youth on my side. You're inspiring, but no one can defeat the symbol of peace. They gonna headbutt each other? What? <laughs> Incredible. Let's take this up a notch. Give me your best shot. I won't hold back. That's a promise. Okay. Dynamic entry. Nice trick. My turn. Texas. You can take a hit well, but what are you really made of? Okay. Hey, boxing, boxing in this one. Oh, 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 tree though. Damn, yeah, just move. I can't believe he's keeping up without having to go to any of the gates. Exactly how hard I've worked. Six gate of joy. Open. Dang, straight to the gate six. I think 
you go straight to see it. Looks like all might might not be all right. Well, so before they get to their next mission, so I'm giving myself the double on that one. Said it would either be all might or a tie because uh my uh because my guy used AP8s. So I get it dub. <laughs> Let me know what you guys got, but I'm a little. All might was an incredibly powerful and inspiring hero, but then again, the same could be said for guy. All Might was super strong, with plenty of good training. Without his gates, Guy wouldn't have stood a chance. Right, keep in mind that each of All Might's feats we covered were performed while he was in an injured state. So for this comparison, we multiplied each result by 60, as per All Might's own estimation of his power. For example, remember how he was similar to Gigantomachia, who busted a hole through a freaking mountain? By scaling the mountain to the pine trees beneath it, it's easy to deduce the blast necessary for this would be about 2.5 gigatons of TNT. With the multiplier, that would be 150 gigatons in All Might's prime. That's 3,000 times stronger than the biggest nuke that's ever been set off. But here's the thing. Even with the multiplier, we know Guy was faster. And while they oh. both learned to fight a wide variety of opponents, Guy was trained all his life and boasted a more versatile set of abilities and techniques. So with that much speed and skill, Guy already had a pretty good advantage. So long as he could hit All Might harder than All Might could hit him. So to answer that, let's check their strongest attacks. All Might's greatest known feat would be the moment his smash created a massive storm, one that extended beyond the horizon. By taking the average mass of a thunderstorm, which is huge, and the 10 yeah. seconds it took for All Might Smash to create it, this comes out to a little over 24 gigatons of TNT. In okay. his prime, this punch would equal over 1,440 gigatons. 28,000 times stronger than the biggest nuke from just one punch! Holy hell! Unfortunately, it's impossible to lock down a specific number in this way for Guy's strongest attack, Night Guy. However, we can scale them to similar characters we know to be at lesser levels. In this case, base form Naruto. God damn, we can never get away from this little twerp, can we? Well, Night Guy did go? serious damage to Madara, whom Naruto's normal abilities stood no chance against. Obviously, Naruto gains a lot more power when he accesses Sage Mode, Karama's Chakra, Six Paths Powers, etc. But Night Guy is certainly more powerful than Naruto's base form at the end of the series. You know that hole in the moon we mentioned? That was made by pulling all of Naruto's base chakra out of his body and blowing it up. And I mean all of it. Most of his chakra has been siphoned off. We've actually covered this before, and that blast was 480 petatons of TNT. What's a petaton, you ask? Well, it's a whole lot bigger than a gigaton, that's for sure. Simply put, the gap in power put Guy several leagues above All Might. Okay. Also, Guy's superior speed ensured All Might couldn't avoid such a blow when it really mattered. Like, you know, in, in a fight to the death. And yeah, Guy using the 8th gate means he'll die later, but he still won the battle before that would happen. And that's still oh. a victory. 
All Might was remarkably powerful and certainly a challenge for Guy. But with his gates open, Guy had the speed, versatility, and power to take him out for good. It was a mighty tough battle for all, but All Might wasn't a match for one powerful guy. The winner what? is oh, Mike shoot. Guy. Got you. All right, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Do you think All Might would have won? Uh, do you not respect Mike Guy's speed as much to say that he would came out on top? Do you give that a dub to Mike Guy or a draw? I say it's a draw because he still ends up dying. You know, like, I feel like a win is when you beat your opponent and you still live to talk about it. Not when you beat your opponent and die 30 seconds later. That, that's just me. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see more of these, I do have some more of these up on the schedule. I will be doing Sasuke vs. T and Naruto vs. Ichigo. You saw it come up on the screen. I will be doing those later coming up. So be on the lookout for those two. If there's any others that you guys want me to check out, comment down below. Hit the video with a like and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. It's been your boy Shot Too Smooth, aka Black Oak, Black Avatar, King Leo. Drop them belated happy birthdays down below because your boy just hit too full. You see the shirt, you know what's going on. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Gone. Peace.